everyone to another episode of Child Crunch. This week we're going over Weird Bad Bad Chinese Mess. Alright, so let's just get started. Um, Alright, let's get started with these uh, Shao Fei Yan um, mushroom snacks. So these are um, spicy flavor. Let's go through them. Oh, oh. Man. smell it? Yeah. I can smell it. Pretty, it's fragrant. It's pretty strong. <laughs> like, all right, are you guys eating it? Chow. Chow down, guys. All right, let's taste it. it smells like dog food. It smells like dog food. Whoa, that's, that's actually a good flavor. Right? That's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty chewy. It's uh, I never had like Chinese backpack snacks. It's really uh, herbally, floral, yeah, spicy. I got a lot right. of cumin. Yeah. Oh, there's cumin. Yeah. Very fragrant. It is a fragrant uh, variety. I feel the heat right now. It's yeah. Really <laughs> heat, yeah. It's, it's, it's building up. But not too, it's like not, not too right. crazy. It just lingers. Yeah. It's, the spice is sticking uh, <coughs> to the back of the throat. Yeah, is okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. Let's get into ratings. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm fl I feel a little flush. It's really? It's spicy. <laughs> so, I actually don't like mushrooms, but I love this flavor. I'm kind of conflicted on this. Um, I don't know. If I'm getting. I'm giving it a one out of three. I expected this to be a lot worse, to be honest, because of the <laughs> smell. But once it's really, it's really strong. Like it's hard to express how strong the smell is when you first yeah. open it. I'm gonna say you should try it out. I give it a, a one crunch too. I agree with everyone. <clears throat> yes, the strong, like the smell is very strong and pungent. It's very um, off-putting. But when you try it, when you give it a shot, it will surprise you. So. A one as well. Kevin, what should we do next? Alright, onward to the next uh, product we're gonna feature. It's gonna be the fresh fish tofu from Yo Hoi Si Yo. Check that out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, well, let's try it. Chow down, guys. Chow. Oh, there's an opening. Alright, smells, smells pretty good. There's not much to. Compared to the first one we had, the mushroom, this one doesn't have that much flavor. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. It's very chewy. It's definitely kind of like the fish tofu that you get at Hot Pot. Mm. I don't mind this. Well, like, yeah, I would say the same. It's like what you would get in Hot Pot, definitely. But one thing that's kind of misleading is how it looks versus the packaging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like your classic uh, burger versus a chain photo. But Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Like. Let's take a look at that again. Look, <laughs> look yeah. at the color difference. It's just guys. like beige, but yeah, it's like yeah, it's good, not bad. Uh, to me, this feels just kind of like a like a fish sausage or a fish patty, basically. It's mm. nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. It's got good flavor. So, what's the score, Kev? I'm gonna give it one crunch again. I don't think it was amazing compared to the other one. It was like that was actually a lot more surprising. This mm. one is, is okay. I should. I think you should try it as a snack. If you're Asian, you might like this. So yeah, Pat, what's what's your uh, mm. crunch score? Mike, you go first. I'm still. Okay, it. I give it a zero just because <laughs> personally, if you've had like a fish ball, mm. it's pretty much you pretty much had it. So it's not worth your money to go and get one. Um, I want to say a zero as well, but. It's something that you should try. Um, it's got a good flavor. All right, on to the last one. All right, Millie. The last backpack snack we got <laughs> is the crispy prawn tail. It's kind of misleading. It says prawn tail, but it's actually uh, crayfish. So check this. And it's uh, the company is Qingzi, I believe. This is the mala taste. Mala. Oh, All right, okay. let's, let's get a try, guys. I still got spice from the from the mushrooms lingering. Oh man. Oh, they're like little like little crayfish. Kale saucy. Yeah. How you got? Then you're supposed try to be trying to play Shout out, guys! I reach out. <laughs> it's pretty chewy. Yeah, well, because of the shell. Yeah, I thought it'd be like unshelled, but like the shell's still on it. That makes sense. I taste a little bit mala taste. Yeah. It's like if you ever had like the crayfish, uh, stir fried crayfish, uh, mala, this is like exact the same taste. <laughs> I've, Mike, I've what, never had it. What do you think, Mike? Uh, I've I, never had that either. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
what I don't like is I think it's just the texture of like the shells. Yeah, it's like but it's, it's crunchy. Very, yeah, chewy. Um, the flavors are like it's in your face, like yeah, you can't miss it. The spice the, is really in your face. Yeah, it's really strong. I feel like the mala coming, like the spiciness <laughs> coming up, mm. heat again. I don't mind this. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit like I wish it was like meatier, mm. like bigger pieces. Mm. It'll be nice. Yeah, I agree with that. Just take like five chunks of them in your mouth. No, <laughs> you get five times as many <laughs> shells. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, uh, crunch scores, uh, Pat. What do you think? Hmm. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Uh, but is it worth trying? If you don't like spice, don't do it. It might be overwhelming for some. <laughs> I can handle a lot of spice. Um, this is getting to that point where it's like uncomfortable a bit. Uh, I'm gonna give it a zero. <laughs> zero. I'm gonna say for me, uh, it's interesting. But at the same time, I don't like it, so it's kind of like a half half a crunch for me. Half a crunch? <laughs> it's not uh, quite... It's, it's better than the tofu yes, though, right? Yes, it's, so, it's better than know. that. Yeah, so that, I like that's the tofu. Least, well, yeah, Pat likes it, but... Personally for me, half a crunch. <clears throat> Alright. I'm gonna go with one crunch yen. <laughs> I think you should try these. These are very interesting snacks. Like, I don't think I've ever had anything like this before. I didn't know they actually existed, so definitely yeah. worthwhile trying. So even if you might not be a big fan, uh, I think you should go out and get a bit and try it out. So, so the, spice, the spice is building up. <laughs> <laughs> so between all three of these, we're gonna pick our favorite one. Um, let's start with Kevin. Actually, I think <laughs> the mushroom is my favorite. <laughs> the mushroom is my favorite one out of all these. Bad. Um, I, asking me is kind of biased because I actually am against mushrooms. I'm gonna go with the the fish tofu. However, if the fish tofu had the flavor of the mushroom, mm. yeah, that would be like best of both worlds right there. Mm. I don't know what you might. I I, I would go for the mushroom. I it's think two that for one, the mushrooms. Like mm. that one's just it looks so. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That yeah, it, it's surprising. It just like yeah. surprised you. It actually tasted a lot better than it smelled. Yeah, because I honestly thought I would like this one. Yeah, I thought so too. I, I had a high expectations on it because it's like crayfish. And it's it spicy. Is, yeah. Is it spicy? Yeah, but exactly. it's a disappointment. I think that it needs more meat and it's like too crunchy. There's just like you're just chewing on shells. Yeah, yeah it's too much shell in there. But uh, all that's right. What it is. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Ch Chow Crunch. Uh, tune in next week for more episodes, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, let us know which one you would try okay. in the comments below. Or, which, one or you... which ones you wouldn't try. Yeah. If you have tried it, let us know what you think. But that's it. Ciao!